Hey guys, it's Alex. So, um, I have not done a real video in forever. I know that I've done like the I'm back video and then the one that I actually pre-recorded while my computer was down, which was the summer bag video. So I went ahead and put those up so that you guys would have something and that I would have something up. But a lot has been going on since then. I actually had my birthday, which was September 5th. It was like the day before Labor Day. And um, I had been wanting to do a birthday haul and everything. And now that I've started using the stuff that I've gotten and, and um, all that kind of stuff, uh, I like haven't really been able to do a haul because it's all been you know dispersed throughout my belongings and like home and stuff and then um, I had my friends over and we had a party and then the following weekend I went with Princey Passa 3X who is Morgan one of my best friends um, in real life but she's on YouTube as well like I said Princey Passa 3X and we went to Bethany Beach and Rehoboth Beach um, Delaware and I did a lot of shopping down there at the outlets um, at the Rehoboth Beach outlets and then there's outlets in Maryland which I've talked about before um, which are like the uh, outlets after the Bay Bridge or whatever so yeah I hauled a couple of things at um, the outlets but I kinda got one big thing but I want to do a haul for that definitely because that is easily um, gathered together to make a haul but one of the things that I got um, that I'm actually recording on right now is my flip camera yeah so it's just the flip ultra and um, I like it a lot the only problem is that right now with the laptop that I'm using it is Windows 7 so that isn't supporting the mp4 files that come from the flip camera so I won't be able to edit this video that's why I'm trying to just kind of make it flow easily and um, do what I can with it but I can't really edit this video at all um, but why I'm here today is for a small collective haul that I've had over the past week or so. Um, I, on Sunday, today is Tuesday, on Sunday I um, went to Walmart and I've been reaching... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I had been researching this for a while, um, looking around, I'd saw it at Walmart before, or seen it at Walmart before, but hadn't really um, fully considered it until lately, when I have been really just wanting to straighten my hair, do something new. I've had braids, I've done buns, I've done just regular hair, I've done textured hair with like um, wave sprays and mousse and that kind of stuff and I just wanted something new. I wanted to be able to do my straightened hair, I wanted to do like the flips with my bangs or like um, beachy waves wrapped around a straightener, all that kind of stuff and with this straightener I have been loving it first of all but with this straightener I've been able to do all of those things. Um, this is the Beauty, uh, the Pro Beauty Tools um, one inch straightener and I'll see you. I'll show it to you guys okay so um it's just plain black and it says it's comparable to Chi that's what really drew me into it right here it says comparable to Chi so that's what really drew me into this. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of the facts that are on the box and stuff. That's where I mainly got my facts, that, and then Walmart.com. And then I, like, Googled it and saw people's um, responses to the, to the actual straightener to see if it was comparable to Chi. So um, it says that it is a salon model, round plate edges, which I really like. I like that it's round so you can do, like, the different flips and stuff. Heats up to 1,000, I mean, <laughs> heats up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has rapid heat recovery and ceramic plates. Um, it also has a 100% um, satisfaction guarantee and a one-year warranty, which is really nice. I'm not sure if that's normal on all straighteners. It hasn't been on the ones that I've gotten but, um, previously. But it says that it's one in, um, that it's one inch as well as the chi. And on the back, it actually has this little chart, which another thing that helped me choose it. And it has like what she has and then what this camera has. And it's one inch plate, like I said, 120 voltage, which really meant nothing to me, but I suppose it might to some. Um, it has 410 max temperature. They both have dual ceramic heaters. They both have 20 second recovery, um, 30 second fast heat up, 
nine foot cord length and a swivel cord and these are what both of them have so um, I thought it was really really good um, so it just kind of slides off like this and then this is of course wrapped in plastic but here's the straightener um, it comes by itself of course cord attached and it is really long like it said nine feet long and it has the swivel cord and then on the inside which I don't know if you can see but it has the on off switch which is like right here and then when it's on this little LED button um, glows red I'm not sure if you can see but I'm trying um, so the, this is the straightener and it's very um, similar to the Chi like in um, looks and design and handle and that kind of stuff and then of course it just comes with like a little warranty thing or whatever but um, it does heat up very quickly and it does get pretty hot but the good thing is that the actual outside plastic doesn't get unbearable to touch or whatever you know um, well, previously I've had a Conair straightener and a Revlon straightener and both of those have been really hot to the touch on the outside so that's one really good thing I'd have to say that the recovery time it says is 20 seconds um yeah so this recovery is 20 seconds and it definitely it definitely drops temperature really fast um, at first, but then it kind of just is still a little bit warm for a while, and um, that's okay. I can get like you know a heat proof pad or something, but like I have a wooden desk, and so that's really kind of scary to me because I've heard of so many stories of like burned down houses and stuff because of straighteners. But um, it does recover within 20 seconds, but it's still quite warm. Um, after that 20 seconds. But other than that, it does a really great job. I wish I would have straightened my hair so you guys could see the result, but I'll definitely be doing a straightening video or like uses of this straightener video with the waves and everything like that and the flips and the whole bang thing, just like I said. So anyways, this was $40 um, at Walmart, I believe. Um, I like gave my mom the money for it, so what I gave my mom was $40. And so that's how much it is on the website. That's what I had researched. And then at the store, I just went and got it off the shelf because I knew it knew where it was before. So I'm supposing that's what it is as well. That's what the actual price was. And then Monday was Columbus Day, and we had off from school. So the little girl I babysat, um, we went to a local pharmacy during the day just to get out of the house and that pharmacy sh um, sells Jordana or Jordana. I've heard it both ways but I got a foundation and a liquid eyeliner and the great thing about this pharmacy is that everything from Jordana is $1.69 um, which is kind of a weird price but it's okay because it's less than $2 for everything blushes, eyeshadows, eyeliners, mascaras and um, I've only tried a couple of their things. I've tried an eyeshadow, which was pretty good. Um, the follow was a little bad, but um, overall the color was good. I have tried blushes, which I absolutely love. I have two of their blushes, which I'll show you, but I didn't recently haul them. Um, actually, I recently, within the last month, hauled this blush. This is in Touch of Pink. <laughs> Sorry. This is in Touch of Pink, and then this is Coral Sandy Beach. So, um, the Coral Sandy Beach is definitely very corally and pretty. And then the Touch of Pink, I just wanted for, like, a light cheek. Really natural and really subtle. So I like both of those. And then this is the, um, oil-free liquid foundation from Jordana. And this is in 03 Warm Beige, which is my color. And I'm not gonna, like, swatch it because you really won't be able to see it because it's my skin tone. But, um, yeah, this is really good so far. I've only used it once. I don't really like to use it a lot, but if you couldn't tell, I've kind of broken out a lot. So I try not to kick on a lot of makeup when I when I broke out because I feel like it just clogs it more and I don't want them to stay around or get any bigger. Um, the other thing is that I got the liquid, fo uh, ooh, liquid foundation, no, liquid eyeliner, and this is in O2 Black, and um, I'll show you the brush. It's really good. Um, one of my friends, he, um, Carly, on YouTube, she's Carly Jo, um, and recommended me this eyeliner, and this is the wand. It's um, really small. 
I don't know much about liquid liners. I know a lot about them, but I, I don't use them often. So I can't be like, oh, the consistency is great and it has a small line. I've only used it once and I'm really not good at putting it on. That's why I got something so cheap so I could just practice it. I've heard another one, another great um, liquid liner is Wet n Wild, and that's uh, pretty inexpensive as well, so I'll have to try that. Um, the other thing that I got is that the pharmacy uh, like has individual like um, sellers that like bring in stuff and this was one of the keychains and it just says A on it and it kind of looks like something you'd get, you'd get from the glitzy, gl glitzy Glam which is you know Juicy Star 07 and all that Glitter 21's like website, um, their store, online store and I really like this and it, you know of course it's like no shipping or whatever um, this is just bought at the store and it's five dollars originally but I got it for like half off so it was like two something 250 and then it has this cute little bow but it's just like a keychain for your key so looking forward to put my little house key on it so far because I can't drive I'm only 15 so yeah um, but when I can drive this will be really cute to have as well and then I have recently gone to um, a conference with my mom and in another city within my state and they had a huge mall and I got a whole bunch of stuff at Old Navy because they're having this huge sale on their clearance stuff. It was like 50% off all clearance so I have all kinds of stuff that I've got and I'm going to do a haul on that as well. Um, but just quickly, this is one of the shirts that I got. It's like a collared shirt. That's really cute. It has like little um, flowers on it. The only thing is it has poofy sleeves. And I'm not too big on that. I'm kind of still getting warmed up to it. So this is the only thing I'm going to show you right now. But I'm going to have a Old Navy haul probably. I'll just call it like a fall haul. And do my birthday and then the Old Navy stuff. Um, yeah. So that is all for my haul today. I will be back soon with lots more videos. I recently have been requested to do a makeup collection video for my friend Carly here on YouTube. Um, she is where she actually requested the videos, so I will probably be doing that soon. If you have any other requests, please put them down as a comment or a message or a comment on my page, anything like that. I love requests and I'm looking forward to getting some so that I know what kind of videos people want to see. Thank you guys so much. See you later. Bye.